All right, adventurers, welcome back to All Play. I know it's been a while. <laughs> and I know I might sound a little different. Not entirely sure what you hear, but it sounds a little different to me with my headphones on. Uh, I'm back, and we're going to play Pikmin 3 Deluxe. This just came out for the Switch uh, the day before Halloween. And I'm going to go ahead and admit it. I'm going to go ahead and admit it. I've played five days worth of gameplay. But I did those days really, really slow. So there's not a lot in this game that I actually know already. Um, and as you guys know, if you remember, I'm a big fan of the Pikmin series. I've never played this game other than the five days just to get myself warmed up. Three of those days were on the demo, by the way. And then I just played two more once I got it. And I said, you know what? Kind of need to play this on the channel. So let's go ahead and play this on the channel. Uh, we're gonna do the story. We might come around and do the side stories. I have no idea. I saw this. So, so the story says, collect food and save Kopai from danger. It's a story of the big adventure with Pikmin. And then we have the side stories. Meanwhile, a certain duo is hard at work on an important mission. Unlocked after a certain point in the story mode. And I have no idea what that's about, who it's talking about. So eventually we might get to the side stories. But for now, let's go ahead and do the, the story. How many players? One. I'm playing this by myself. Uh, you guys know I like single player games. Um, but you can play this with more than one person. And then as you can see, we're going to play a new game from start. Uh, I think I'm actually going to play this on hard. Uh, I see that you can change the difficulty below. So if this gets too hard, <laughs> if it gets too hard, we'll, we'll play on, um, we'll play on normal. Ultra spicy is a hard to stomach difficulty intended only for those who consider themselves Pikmin connoisseurs. I don't consider myself a Pikmin connoisseur. I love Pikmin. I love the game. I love the challenge, but I do not consider myself good enough to be able to do it. We're going to do it on hard. Let's go. Date 20XX. At the far reaches of space lies a planet on the brink of ruin. The planet's name? Kopai. Due to a booming population, booming appetites, and a basic lack of planning, Kopai's inhabitants have all but exhausted their food supply. Their only hope is to find another planet with edible matter. Accordingly, they send unmanned scout vessels called sparrows out into space. To their dismay, the search is proving fruitless. Just as they're about to give up, the final vessel reports back with news of a miraculous discovery. They mobilize to investigate the planet, which they name PNF-404. Kopai's last hope rests on three intrepid explorers. At last, the explorer's 279,000 light year voyage nears its end. But, as they initiate the landing sequence, something goes horribly wrong. So this is day one, and we're gonna we're gonna pick up with Charlie. It seems. Oh. What happened? I think it's super interesting. They got voice acting in this one. They had a they had a a, a narrator. Where am I? The last thing I remember was, oh, of course, this must be PNF 404. 
All right. Charlie the ship. Charlie the ship. Do you copy? This is your captain. I repeat, do you copy? Hello? Anyone? There's no response. Where's my ship? My crew? Captain Charlie. I managed to escape unscathed, but what about the rest of my crew? They could be anywhere on PNF. 404. I've got to find Alf and Brittany. I only hope they survived. Uh, move. You move with the, the L stick in case you didn't know that already. I turned off hints, so we're not doing hints. I don't need hints. I don't consider myself a connoisseur, but I don't need hints. Alright, so this is me moving around. There we go. Took me a minute, but I figured it out. Huh? What in the? Oh, there are more of them. Oh, so strange. I seem to have wandered into a strange neighborhood. Why are they coming closer? My whistle will scare them off. So, uh, all the all the traditional Pikmin stuff is in this game. But for the most part, most of it works differently. And it works in a way that makes the game a little bit easier. So, for example, check out this whistle. Look how big this circle is. Oh, my goodness. I'm surrounded. Maybe I should throw them. Get away from me. They don't appear hostile. So let me get this straight. I can round up these creatures by pointing at them and pressing B. And throw them with A. You can round them up by pressing B. And throw them with A. <laughs> that one over there is working. Maybe these fellows can be of some use. So if you look at the bottom right of the screen... For those of you not familiar with Pikmin, what do you fu get off of there? Relax. Okay, bottom right of the screen, down this direction. Uh, it tells us how many Pikmin are in our squad, how many are currently following me. You can see there's 15 following me. And how many are on the field? There's 30. Um, the game hasn't said this just yet, but it will eventually. At the most, you can only have 100 Pikmin in the field at any time. Uh, that includes any Pikmin that I have not found yet in the world. So, like, you can see I haven't found 15 of them. 15 of them are still out here doing whatever the hell they want. Let's see if we can round them up. There's two. When there's some over here? There's one. This whistle is ridiculous. Look at this. <laughs> there's two more. If y'all don't come here. Let's see, there's 10 more somewhere. Oh, I guess we haven't seen them yet. I guess we haven't seen them yet. I need y'all to work for me, please. I need y'all to work for a living. Right, that's how it's done. Yeah, let's go. Go to work, please. I should look around for my crew. It's the R stick to check my surroundings. So now it's gonna let me turn the camera as I want to. Which I tried like six times already and it definitely said no. And then if I just wanna snap back, ZL. What enormous mushrooms. Uh, one thing I don't like about this game is how much I'm used to. <laughs> I know it's entirely my fault. How much I'm used to the GameCube controller for the last two games. And then this one has all the buttons in different positions. I don't care. I don't care that they're, um, whoops. I don't care that the control buttons are different, but how stuff has moved around. Like the throw button is no longer where, like my thumb is not positioned in the same spot. 
It actually oh, makes it a little bit hard for me to play this sometimes. Oh, we got all 30. How? I don't remember picking up extra. What are those? They look dangerous. Well, I'm not dealing with them. Y'all sure can, though. These are enemies, and that, that circle above them is their life gauge. Apparently, when you kill these, they sprout flowers. Hmm? Exploration day one. Alf's crash site. Okay, so we're gonna look at Alf right now. This is all still day one. Ooh, what a beautiful crash. Mm, that was not so graceful. Should've landed in the water with me. It's a miracle. I'm alive and somehow unharmed. Just as the SS Drake. <laughs> Just as the SS Drake was about to land, we lost control and had to make an emergency escape. During the chaos, I was separated from my other two team members as well as the ship itself. As the ship's engineer, it's up to me, Alf, to find both the SS Drake <laughs> and my crew members. Listen to this man say Drake. Alright, let's get to work. So then the bottom left is my health gauge, just so we... We have an understanding. If I take damage, that green circle is going to turn yellow, then red, then disappear. Ooh. What was that? Oh, it's not going to let me whistle. I was trying to cheat. It appears that the specimen I just spotted has company. And what's that stuck in the branch? Is there anything I can do? Is that red thing a fruit? Maybe if I whistle at them. Lock on to the red fruit with RZ. ZR. And then we throw. <laughs> nice. I was hoping that it was fruit, but it doesn't appear to be edible at all. Nevertheless, these red fellows seem quite pleased now that it's free. Oh, wait a minute. I'm supposed to be looking for those two missing. Uh, the same thing. We know this one already. It's going to do that over and over because we have three different characters. Okay, so this is not... Is it... Okay, I'll say it's not going to let me go. This is not... Oh, it's not even going to let me do it. Well, I'll just, I'll just keep that a secret what that is then. How about that? My coat pad. Thank God I found. Oh, thank goodness I found it. I can use it to locate the SS Drake. All right, but we can't get over this gap yet. This is this is an unfinished bridge. Let's go finish it. That's a thing. Um, locking on to throw stuff is a thing. They're gonna carry that and finish that bridge for me. I'm gonna bring it over here so you guys can see it before I go do stuff I'm not supposed to be doing. There we go. They're gonna, they're gonna work. So they're gonna keep going back to this spot to find pieces. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Maybe it's not these Pikmin. Maybe these aren't the smart ones. Hey, help out. You get the help. Here you go. They're supposed to come back to this spot and not back to me. They're supposed to want to help. Excuse me, what are you doing? Oh, they're starting already. There you go. He went back. 
They're starting already. They are being problematic. They're going to keep coming back to this spot until there are no more pieces. In which case, they're going to come back here and just hang out until I tell them to do something else. That's one of the things I was talking about. They made Pikmin a little bit better this time around. They made it easier, I guess. You know? Pikmin's a hard series. <laughs> Pikmin is a hard series. I will not lie about that. It is, it is not easy. Come with me. Come on. Woo! Get your... Where is he going? Come back! <laughs> Come back here! <laughs> the bridge is done. Great, it still works. Of course, I expect nothing less uh, from Copai Engineering. I'll check my surroundings by scrolling through the Copad screen. Oh, we can use L to check our surroundings. How nice. Where's the Drake? <laughs> I should follow that signal. I'm going to guess it's over this way. There's the Drake. <laughs> that says Drake. Is it that far from here? Maybe the other two crew members are there as well. I best head in that direction. All right, so that's where we're gonna go. Uh, now we can start exploring with the help of the co-pad. Use the radar to check the map and the camera to take photos. We are not doing camera stuff in this game. Okay, we are we are serious Pikmin players. Uh, activate the co the camera via the copad to snap a photo. You press, you press, what is that, minus? You press, yeah, you press minus to open the radar, just so we're clear. And I can zoom in and out so we can see. Okay, so if it, I don't know why it didn't let me do this. It didn't let me figure out, like, show it the first time around. But if I want to get here to the, the SS Drake, I kind of got to go this way. Through here, through here. Through here. And this is where I am now. So I gotta go north of here. But north of here is this big old box. What is this enormous thing? The Drake must be somewhere on the other side of it. So the number, most of the time, if it's something artificial, there'll be a number on it. That tells you how many Pikmin you need to be able to move it. The number up top is how many you have actively working towards whatever goal. And the bottom is how many you need at least to work towards that goal. So we have nowhere near enough right now. Hey, I called y'all. What are you doing? Okay, so these flowers. Is that red thing food? It is food. That one can carry it. See, we got one Pikmin working and one thing as required. He can carry them, so y'all handle that. And then you, oop, oop, there's an enemy. We are not gonna mess with him. Nope, it's more than one. You're definitely... Give me a hand. You're taking too long. You come with me. Hmm. That thing is popping out some sort of sprouts. Come with me. You are taking too long, and now I gotta baby you. Let's check these sprouts. It's a red Pikmin. I'm glad we finally got that. Ah, I see. So this is how these little creatures propagate. How incredibly fascinating. Uh, we can pluck them just by pressing A. It actually, I don't have to rapid tap this time around. It will do it itself. Uh, so that's how we get more Pikmin. You see, we just went from 4 to 10. We just went from 4 to 10. All right, we got to get to 20, so let's woik. Let's woik. Where y'all at? So these are enemies, and the, what's cool about enemies is you can fight them. And then they become food, too. You can take those. You can take them bad boys right on back to the, the thing to propagate some more Pikmin. Here's one. This one here needs five. Wow, this one is huge. Lock on with ZR name. 
I don't need ZR. I'm just doing it because it's easy. <laughs> I actually rather not use ZR. It just makes a lot of stuff a little bit harder, actually. So, check this out. Again, the number on top is how many Pikmin you have actively working on something. And the number on bottom is how many you need to complete that task. There's only one. Here's two. Three. Four. This isn't a us four can do it type of thing. We'll struggle, but we can do it. No, you need five. Put five of them bad boys on there. I need to do something about that thing... That's in the way. What thing? Oh, that is because I'm taking too long. I'm taking the time to explain. <laughs> Trust me, when we get into it, I ain't gonna be explaining nothing. So, so just deal. Just deal with it for today. Normally, your day one is your tutorial day. It is. Oh, and if you want, you can put more Pikmin on. It makes. It means the task is getting done. But you absolutely have to have at least the number on the bottom. And this is me just trying to explain it, make sure everything makes sense. Cause when we get into it, we're gonna be going. I'm I'm all about I'm all about task when it comes to Pikmin, boy. We we ain't taking forever on this. Nope. <laughs> we're not taking forever. Alright, so we have 21 Pikmin, which is okay. Let's get all 21 Pikmin on the job. Haha! <laughs> I did that early. So I shot all my Pikmin. In the direction that I was focused on. That way they can all do it. I don't have to press the throw button 21 times. I can just tell them, hey, run for it. Handle this task. What's that? I was actually hoping I turned these off in the settings. Turns out you can't. It looks like someone's left a data file here. Perhaps the copad will be able to read it. The onion is like a nest for the Pikmin. It both gives birth to them and provides them with shelter. So that's the onion. That is how the onion is designed in this game. Excellent. The copad can read the data file. So these creatures are called Pikmin? This information might come in handy later on. I'll save it in the copad's exploration notes. Exploration notes. I don't think Captain Charlie wrote this data file. So who did? Could there be other intelligent life forms on this planet? Alright, let's hurry up and find this thing. This day is taking forever. This is supposed to be a one-day operation. <laughs> According to the radar, the Drake should be through here. Oh, there's another. Let's read it. Is it... Is it... Do I have to... Choose. Oh, it's controls. Is it controls? Is it controls? It's controls? It wanted to teach me controls? Right now? What? <laughs> what? Alright, fine, whatever. Wow, those are massive. But they don't look edible. It's me charging. I actually like charging something completely new. I actually like it. It helps save time. I don't have to spend forever pressing 20 buttons to do the same thing. All right, these mushrooms don't do anything as far as I remember, so we're not gonna do, worry about that. This is the point at which it's gonna teach charge. Who built this wall here? More signs of intelligent life. Now would be a good time to press X to perform a charge attack. So, if I wanted to, I could throw all 20 Pikmin at this wall. It's just charge makes it easier. If you if you know you want to send all of your Pikmin in one direction to do one task, charge makes it easier. My crew could learn a lot from this kind of teamwork. I hope the Drake is okay. There it is! That's us, Drake! <laughs> the copad isn't picking up any signs of life in the immediate area. What am I supposed to do now? Incoming transmission. Who could it be? Alf, it's me, Brittany. Do you copy? 
Thank goodness. You're with the SS Drake, right? I made it through the landing in one piece. The thing is, I'm trapped somewhere. And I'm starved. Oh no, we got cut off. I wonder how far away Brittany is. But at the very least, I'm thankful that she appears to be safe and sound. What's that strange noise? The sun is setting, which means that nocturnal predators are starting to wake up. I should probably get off the planet surface for now. Here we go, we're in the SSG Drake. Let's get in. Let's get in and get out. Now look at that, the onion's coming with us. I didn't know that would happen at all. <laughs> I didn't know that would happen at all. Most of the supplies we bought with us from Kopai were destroyed in the crash landing. So now we only have three days worth of edible provisions left. And I'm going to eat one. Starting tomorrow, I'll have to find some local food. <laughs> Alright, so at the end of each day, this screen will track our progress. Move out the way. Oh, that actually was interesting. I can do a replay of the entire day. Uh, what's cool? I'll, 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 I'll skip to this real quick. What's cool is that you can watch it. Change the speed. You can watch it like it's not going to show like the, what happened on the screen, but it will show like a map overview of me moving around. I really want to spend one day doing like really stupid stuff and see what happens. <laughs> see what it looks like. Um, at the end of each day, you can look at this this chart, which is basically telling you about your progress. So, for example, you can see on this screen uh, that how, how to explain. So that red line is my Pikmin growth over time. So this is how many red Pikmin I have found throughout my day. In a, in a relative matter, there's no numbers on there. If you look down below, you see how much food I have and how many Pikmin I have, how many Pikmin I have with me at the end. Uh, how many Pikmin have died as well. Death is a thing. So that's the end of day one. You know we're coming back for day two. You know we are. Don't even pretend. We're shipwrecked on this planet. Some creatures called Pikmin help me find the SS Drake. But our cosmic drive key is nowhere to be found. We won't be going anywhere without that. Luckily, I made contact with Brittany and will set out to find her tomorrow. When I took off in the ship, the Onion took flight as well. Odd, but amazing. Alright, let's do some day two. It's time for day two.